Good afternoon, Game Over Watchers. Glad you guys tuned in today. Um, we've got a new intro for our show. Um, you know, we're just going to start covering everything. We're still going to st- focus on some things about new technology, old technology, games, music, you know, current events, things like that, technology. But we're just, you know, and I branched off a little bit into doing the whole thing about what the dialysis process has been from one, from step one, which was getting the fitula into emergency dialysis in the hospital and then a port put in my chest. So, and that's a temporary port until my fitula's been able to heal properly and is, um, able to handle the load. So right now we're doing a temporary um, fit, temporary port inside of my uh, chest and we are also doing dialysis three days a week. But what does actually doing dialysis look like? I'm going to show you right now here on this episode of Game Over. Hey there, Game Over fans. We have been covering the Rule 2 dialysis for the last couple of episodes here. And um, you may remember, I have this port going into my chest here. Okay. But this is dialysis. Our journey's done. I mean, it, it is what it is. But now this is dialysis. So I'm going to continue with this every now and then. Coming back to here so that people who are wondering, you know, like they're told they got to go on dialysis or things like that, what they can expect and things like that. However, everything's different for everybody. So this is my dialysis machine. Okay. So right here, that's a pump, right? It pumps the blood out of my catheter into this machine here. And then you see this right here? That's my kidney. That is the job of my kidney right there, that filter. Now, there's two reasons for dialysis. Or they, I'm sorry. So dialysis does two different things. Number one, it cleans your blood. Okay, if you're not making urine or your kidney has shut down in like my case, but I'm still making a little bit of urine, you will run into the problem of having things not filtered properly, which will then put you into a greater health risk for many things, such as what happened with me. My kidney was not cleaning anything, and I had a potassium overload incident. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't do anything, and that's when they started dialysis in the, in the ER room for me. But what I wanted to tell you about is it also takes out water. See, I. I For the last several years, I've battled back and forth with uh, edema, you know, and right now the edema is in, you know, and with diabetics, edema ends up in your legs. And my legs are really good in the morning. Nice and thin, I put my compression on, my legs stay pretty much good, but it's between the knee and the waist. That part mushrooms up, it gets filled with water. So, what they do when they come here, when I come here, is they pull water off, okay? And what they do is they can set it to pull off so much water, but they have to monitor you. So, I'm going, this today, again, another three liters. I did three liters last week also. So, it's slowly but surely pulling that, uh, that fluid out of my body which is great just just absolutely great today I walked all around the house without a walker that was like amazing for me yeah and I uh, just wanted to kind of check in with you guys so thanks for watching game over <laughs>